So that rabbit is exactly, I'll say seven meters away from my sliding door in my caravan. And he's moved onto a rock. I'm just waiting patiently until he gets off the rock. And then I'm gonna have a shot at him. He might have that disease, mix, mixomatosis. His eyes look a bit fun and he's making a weird noise. But it's just a waiting game now. I'm surprised he hasn't seen me. He didn't even go one meter. How good is that? Looks like we're eating rabbit tonight. That rock. And he is right there. Too easy. Yeah. There's the shot. Yeah, look at his skin. Something wrong with his skin as well. This guy's got some bad issues. I shot him pretty high. I shot him pretty high, but it's the angle. I couldn't see from the high grass, to be honest, but Uncle Jimmy's gonna be happy. Another dead rabbit. I'm not gonna eat this guy, but he just looks, his eyes are a bit murky. He might have that disease called myxomatosis. So, yeah, a bit of feral game hunting the Oscar Broadhead and yeah it's a good start to the trip <laughs> It's nice and overcast, and it's exactly 3 p.m. The 
the sun goes down at 7.30. So we're in for a good chance. We'll just have to sit patiently and try our luck. Hopefully the mosquitoes don't get to us. That's the main thing. a long four hours of sitting down in the same spot we ended up seeing one doe came right up to us and she seen us and bolted she came from behind so we couldn't see her and then Sam spotted one that was in the distance probably about 120 meters away but the grass is that high at the moment and healthy they just have no reason to come out we just spotted a bachelor herd of fallow bucks up in the other paddock towards that direction so we're gonna go let the dog loose just head back to camp quickly and sort of drop our packs and run that direction hopefully we get the chance to you know get one of the young ones leave the older mature ones and if not Sam can have a shot at a rabbit there's plenty of rabbits at the moment so anyway we'll just see how it goes there they are I'll show you where they are exactly. Let me just zoom that in. Right, where are we? Yeah, there it's the big boys too. Yeah, there's a good herd of them here. Big boys too. You can see the antlers already. about our luck. We get to position and then Cheryl, the landowner, arrives at the same time. That's luck sometimes, you can't do nothing about it. We're trying a different location. We're on top of the world here. We're gonna try our luck and hopefully we get something. But the grass is so high at the moment and it's gonna be hard to find them in the poor grass. Okay, so we finally sat down in position. We've got a beautiful open paddock in front of us. And if anything does appear in that open patch, we can definitely, or Sam can anyway, make his way through that bitty bush. Slowly and quietly, obviously. But the wind is currently slightly going up in our favor, which is really good. So, man, it's hot. It's not really hot, but you know, all that walking, and when you're fat, doesn't help, so, <laughs> you know, <laughs> we're just going to sit back and enjoy our time. Let's we'll sit here for like two, three hours before the activity starts to happen. You know, they start to move two hours just before the sun sets. So, yeah, sit back, relax.
So I'm chewing on some beautiful potato chips, chicken flavor, and the air is just right for drinking. Beautiful monster can. I got the green one, Sam's got the pink one. Who needs deer and goats and pigs and, and you can just enjoy yourself. What a life. You guys are stuck in, you know, in the city. Living in town. Go out in the bush and enjoy yourself. Buy yourself a monster for a V. Some chocolate, some chips. It's healthy food and it's good stuff. Just eat them. It's, it's stinking hot, it's summer, um, and it's about uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so the deer, the deer are just, they're, they're, they, they're in the thick stuff, hiding. Anyways, this guy behind me is sitting there playing Candy Crush, thinking he's going to go to sleep. Meanwhile, I've had a million V drinks, cans of uh, monsters, this, 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 I'm hyped. We've just got to the property just now. Uh, and um, it's quiet. There's no one here. Beautiful time. The the um, the fellow are in um, the bucks are in velvet, and um, they're pretty much just just sit, sitting sleeping. And something something stood in me. I just said to myself, you know what? Oh, I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna just glass. So I've started glassing, and in the distance, along the tree line, there's um there is two massive bucks. Um, uh, feeding, just feeding comfortably. Now they're within reach of us if we can get our gear and go. So pressure's on. This is uh, really, really exciting because they don't know nothing about, uh, sorry, they don't expect us. Uh, we surely didn't expect to see them. Uh, thank God I was glassing at the time. I got this guy out of his bed, so that's good. The sleeping giant's ready. Um, I'm just gonna take a bottle of water, put my, uh, my bino harness on, grab my bow, we're gonna rush over there. Hopefully we can still film them. Just film them if they decide to come out. If they decide to come out, it's a hunt, it's a hunt. If not, we're gonna need some, hopefully some quality footage of some uh, good sized bucks in, um, in velvet. So this is a good time. Let's see how we go. So we've decided to go up the road behind the caravan and we're gonna try our luck. The wind is definitely not in our favor.
these guys were the guys we were looking for earlier. Anyways, they disappeared for a bit. Now they've showed up again. So I've got flat, flat um, pasture, which means it's going to be really hard. I'm only going to get to a certain point once I think it's too hard. I'll stop there. We'll see what happens, but wow. <laughs> He was in the middle of the open paddock there. Pretty much had no chance because he was stuck. We've got some spectators in the back here. And I've told him to follow that tree line, go tree to tree, and keep testing the wind. The last tree is probably about 15 meters away from the fence. If they are still there, we'll have a real good shot because the wind is going in that direction. So I hope for his sake and mine, because he's, he's a beautiful buck, that lead buck. And now the bucks from last year, we had the same two bucks in velvet. We didn't shoot, shoot them, we let them grow pretty much. And then one of them this year's monsters, so it's beautiful. Well, Sam has made it to that tree. I'll predict he's around 15 meters away from the fence, but they are a good 70, 80 meters away from him. So I don't know if he's gonna crawl towards the fence and have a go. I'd sit patient if I was here, but it's touch and go, we don't know what's going to happen. I really hope that these cows don't bloody ruin the hunt for Sam. There's more in that direction. So the larger buck is sitting down in between those trees. You can just see his palm. And Sam's made his way to the fence. I hope he knows where they are. Mate, that was, that, that's absolutely made our day. Um, this guy, we've got him on, on uh, camera previous years. Um, and it's all about, you know, pretty much managing these, these animals to that point. Just shot a buck. Really, really nice buck. He's in velvet, it's quite big. There he is. 